girl I absolutely love this look it's like a blue glacial ice look like comment subscribe and share if you're interested in how I achieve this look stay tuned as usual this is a photo of everything that I used everything is linked below being myself, I was going through Pinterest and I came across something that kind of looked similar to what I have going on here. That was my first nail. I did it off camera. Stay tuned and you'll see exactly how I came up with the design. Right here, I am simply clipping my tips. They were too long for my liking. I'm also kind of being mindful of the shape that I want to start with. So when you get your tips glued on, make sure to go around the edges, filing gently just to make sure there's no lifting and that they're a great fit. So this may not be a necessary step for some of you that may already have a color in mind that you like. However, I wanted kind of like an aqua turquoise color and I didn't have that. So this is just me mixing my colors with my builder gel to achieve the look that I want. Right here I am just adding some of the little holographic nail designs on the wet polish because this is going to be the base of your design. So I'm just going to sit back and let you guys enjoy some of this process. When there's something necessary that needs to be explained I'll come back in and explain. Keep that builder gel wet. You want to add your saran wrap. Create your design with a sharp edge. Then you're going to cure and remove your saran wrap. After that, we're going to hit that tip with holographic nail powder. Once that is done, we are going to add a couple of gold flakes. This just gives the nail a nice depth. And when you're done with that, you're going to layer the top with clear builder gel. Now the nail is cured, we're going to file, get that great desired shape. I typically don't have them this pointy, but I just couldn't help myself. Now that we've filed, we're going to add one last layer of builder gel just to make sure that our apex is strong, and that the nail is not too thin and flimsy. Make sure you give your nail one last final buff, then go in and wipe any excess dust off. Give that nail a nice top coat and watch how beautiful this turns out. Mm -hmm. 
At this point, I'm literally just doing the same process on all the other nails. I'll sit back and let you enjoy the process. Clearly, I didn't film myself adding the second layer of builder gel, but that is an important step, so don't forget that part, okay? Okay guys, so I still cannot get over how beautiful these are. They turned out absolutely amazing in my opinion. I am a bit biased obviously, but I do truly love this look. On a whim, again, I decided to recreate something I saw on Pinterest. I will go on and link that uh, picture. Thank you so much for your support if you enjoyed this please give it a like comment and subscribe turn on that notification bell that way you can be notified every time i drop a new video and as always take care